Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For our first deck with some new cosmetics, we have Quasi Dupla Ooze. We've been having a lot of fun with this deck, so this looks like one that's good to invest in some cosmetic upgrades. So basically, we're going to have some 3D cards. Not every single card is available at 3D right now, and they're pretty pricey gem-wise. So we started today off with, I guess I started the stream with 15,000 gems from just in on my collection before and everything. And so we've gotten a few upgrades for that stuff for Grixis Discard, which will be in our next video after this. And uh, Simic cards here for Quasi Dupla Ooze. You can see like these cards are 3D. They look really sweet. Uh, definitely excited to play them. I am worried about performance issues with these 3D cards. So we'll see how they work out and everything. Like, man, that Branch Walker looks awesome. And like some of these really do look very 3D. Um, well, that one's not that one's not one, but yeah. So we'll we'll uh, try this out. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully, we don't have any performance issues. That's the real big worry here. But yeah, pretty excited to try it out. Let's go. Sleeves. I have the Selesnia sleeves. So sleeves. I have the Selesnia sleeves. Plus we have these five different colors. So if we want to use the five colors. Which I actually think these look kind of nice too. We have these as options, plus the just regular card back. But we got the Celesnia one, so let's gonna use the Celesnia sleeves. So we'll see how this goes. A little worried about performance stuff. Hoping it doesn't lag too much. Do they do they constantly move while they're like in your hand and everything? I guess you know we're gonna find out. Um so we have two land. Hey logistics man, going well. So it's only on mouse over to the move. We're going first. We need a land drop for a jade light. But as long as like one of our top two cards is a land. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> we bought all these upgrades and now we're just going to get smashed by Mono Red. <laughs> I don't know if there's an option to deactivate it. Oh, it's better to play Wild Growth Walker first, but I, I want land drops. Gosh, we need lands. Uh, chain whirler. Okay, it's a land. Um, I'm gonna fire this off while it's safe. Okay, that worked out pretty well. I'm basically waiting till I have five mana where I can play like Wild Growth Walker plus Quasi Duplicate the Jade Light Ranger both in the same turn. All right, we'll take it. This does let me just double block and kill the Chain Whirler and get that out of here. 
Ah, uh, you killed a pretty one. I do like firing this off now, though, like where they don't lightning strike my creature in response. Alright, hoping they tap out again on their turn. I'm not really sure why they tapped out for that risk factor on their turn, but I hope they tap out again. And next turn we can Wild Growth Walker plus Quasi Duplicate. Yeah, we got the Angrath Avatar. It's up, track team. Yeah, right? We should get the 3D tokens. Since we're copying, you know, when we Quasi Duplicate. That'd be cool to get the 3D tokens, but... Alright, they tapped out. Like, they just don't need to cast this shock on their turn. But they did. So here we go. Gain six. So how does how is Deckmaster working? Does Deckmaster work with these things? With these cards? Cause you know, like Deckmaster doesn't work with promo cards too much, but maybe this is just another layer. Okay, it, wor it does work? Okay, that's good. Yeah, my opponent could have just killed the Wild Growth Walker. Yeah. Yeah. They did not, though. Even though I have all these quasi-duplicates and everything. It's a little risky. Duplicating a Jade Light here. Their last card could be Shock, but how our opponents been playing? I don't think our last card is Shock. Oh, did make it a little easier on us. That's weird, Shadow Meld. Maybe try refreshing the stream for Deckmaster. It should be up and working. <clears throat> Alright, so <clears throat> mono red with chain whirlers. So I, I want negates. Melody is okay. Want the frilled mystic. Maybe I want two melody, two frilled mystic. Yeah. And then we're going to take out the Land War Elves on the draw against the Chain Whirler deck. I'll take out the Climb and a Vivian. Get down two Vivians. See, if they're like real frenzy heavy, we may need to bring in some more Vivians back in. I'm going to trim one Quasi Duplicate too. We have the Tristani Avatar. We're just using the Angrath one right now. Hmm. Looks like a mulligan. The Jade Light looks pretty nice with the... Yeah, you know, like, those, those look pretty good together. Fanatical Firebrand. Electrostatic Field. What's that? What's that? So 
if I played the Wild Growth Walker, my opponent would have been able to shock the Walker plus Firebrand it, at the very least, or have some other burn spell. Hmm. I think it's okay to play it now, though, with us being kind of this far behind. Let's hope. No burn spell. Dang. They had a burn spell. Looks like our opponent's got it this time. We didn't even have a bad curve, honestly. You know, we had Incubation Druid on two, Wild Growth Walker on three, and we're already dead. <laughs> we played Jade Light on four. I mean, I just can't. I can't take it, unfortunately. Opponent just had a great hand. Red does that sometimes. I'm going to cut another duplicate for another uh, melody with them having that 04 wall that like just can sit there and ping us forever. Like that, it's it's a problem. I want another melody. Hey, we got a, a hand filled with with the new 3D cards. Protein B12, welcome to the stream. First sub of the day. So thank you so much. Yeah, the old zero lander. I think this is a mulligan. Let me get the sub battle countdown. We are almost under 100 now. We need a green source, unfortunately. Can't keep that island. Gotta get green mana. Forest. Come on, Forest. Come on, Forest. Ugh. No Forest. Come on, next turn we need Forest. Yeah, could certainly be doing worse than Dive Down, that's true. They have a light up the stage. They wanted to play. They want to play their electrostatic field to land and stuff first, I guess. All right, come on, forest. Forest. Ugh. Oh my gosh! If we get a forest. With them, with them not killing these Wild Growth Walkers earlier, I just kind of thought that, that we'd be okay duplicating it. But I could be wrong. Oh, where's this forest? Hooray! There it is! Found it! Found it! Oh, 
All right, and we're doing it now. Yeah, Baloney Pony, 12 hour stream today. We're already almost an hour in, uh, and this is our first match. Just, you know, we took some time spending, you know, getting like the cosmetic upgrades and everything. <laughs> Forest is your first name, so I was just saying Forest over and over, and you're like, what? I'm right here. What do you want? Okay, we did it. We found our green green mana source. We found a lot more green mana sources since then. Pono had only had one lightning strike as far as burn spells this whole time. Oh man, if yeah, if our opponent had rampaging ferocidon. That would be brew tal. Sure, whatever. Alright, looks like Quasi Dupla Ooze is gonna have get a win, even though we didn't get to do very much quasi duplicating or oozing. It was just all the explore creatures against Mono Red. Wild Growth Walker is still really good. Alright, and we wanna know. Maybe we'll never lose ever again after buying these 3D cards. Yeah, copies don't copy the art. They just have the original copies. It's unfortunate. Um, I think I want to keep. We just need a green mana source to go from there. Maybe we're supposed to mulligan this. Yeah, actually, I'm going to mulligan. All right, this is fine. Basically, same hand, but we're just trading. All we're doing is we're trading Jade Light and Dive Down for Incubation Druid and a Scry. Deck should be named Clues Duplicate. I don't know about that. So playing the Branch Walker here instead of the Incubation Druid because Branch Walker is defense for Lava Runner. I think we need defense right now. The big problem was if we hit land and make it a 2-1 and if they have Chain Whirler. If we hit land, they did not have Chain Whirler, they had Lava Coil. So it was good that we hit land because we got to just draw that. Um, Druid and Elf or Jade Light? So I'm just going Jade Light because again, I, I want to be able to block this Lava Runner. Druid and Elf are just chump blocking. <laughs> yeah, if there is still, um, what's that? Uh, what's that card? What's that called? Um, Whenever you make whenever you make clues, what is that called? Investigating. Yeah. So they're still investigating in the format. We could have a deck called with Biogenic Ooze and 
you know, tireless tracker, and we could call it Ooze Clues. Yeah, that'd be a sweet deck name. All right, now we're gonna. Now we got their Lava Runner off the battlefield. We don't need to worry about an attacker as much this turn. So let's get these down so we can make a large Krasis next turn. Which I guess we're looking at like a 5-5 a five, five Krasis or I could do 4-4 four, four plus. We'll just do 4-4 four, four and have Dive Down. All right, there's Wild Growth Walker. That's a good one. Now let's find some Explorer. Can I dive down that? I need to dive down Angrath. All right, can we draw Explore Creature? Explore Creature one time. Hmm. No Explore Creature. Don't really have ways to draw cards. Right, we gotta dodge burn spells. We've already drawn lots of burn spells. There we go. We dodged it. Dodge the burn spell. If you duplicate the crisis, it'll just be a zero zero. Tilt. Attack. We gotta finish this up before our opponent draws a burn spell. Don't do it, don't do it. Good game, which way? Ooh! Our way. Hey, it's up, King Toll. Yeah, definitely having a good one. Definitely having a good one. Alright, so when all the negates, all the frilled mystics, they they seem I don't know if I need entrancing melody as much. They seem to be a lot more burn heavy. That could be just what we saw there, though. Uh, I'm going to take out Climb, two Vivians, and so I was cutting Llanowar off against Chain Whirler. We didn't really see Chain Whirler, but it's probably smart still to cut him just in case. Also play my one Llanowar Elf, just the one. All right, we got Wild Growth and Branch Walker. We're keeping. Yeah, our, our matchups against Mono Red are, are pretty good. I mean, Wild Growth Walker is just awesome against Mono Red. And then we also have like some counter magic, especially after you know after sideboard here to help those out. So I could definitely see my opponent ignoring Incubation Druid. And they're really creature heavy. They weren't this creature heavy just a little bit ago. And then next turn we'll play other Wild Growth Walker and Jade Light. Is 
not blocking with Wild Growth Walker. Yep. This one looks over. Alright, okay, we are 2-0. Oh. All right, two and O. Oh. So far, the power of the 3D cards have been helping us against the Mono Red Menace. Here you go, Hawkeye. You're the best. Love it. Just two basics and all, and a promo card and 3D cards. Yep, that's why people, especially Wild Growth Walker, you know, that's why people play Wild Growth Walker and not just a bunch of Jade Lights and everything. Um. Usually I would just be playing Jade Light here to look for more lands, but I think I'll go, I'll go ahead and take a turn off by playing the Wild Growth Walker. Could get this above. Um. Whatever it's called. I want to get it like above Gates of Blaze range. I want to play Vivian there, but this is kind of just too good to pass up. Just going aggro. Gates of Blaze has nothing on our cards. We don't need to show our opponent more things. We don't need to put that in the graveyard. Man, 3D cards are really powerful. Okay. We're at 50 life and they're at negative 5. These 3D cards are super powerful. Two mana 7 nines that gain you 18 life are even better than three mana, five, five, Vigilant Tramples. All right, what are we doing against Gates? <laughs> yeah, you just, you just have to, you have to pay for the 3D card so you can get perfect opening hand. Uh, they certainly have a lot of things that can be troublesome. I think Biogenic Ooze isn't as good here with them having a lot of sweepers. Like Melody, Frilled Mystic, probably awesome. Not so sure about Dive Down. Dive Down can protect our thing from like whatever card from Gates of Blaze, though. I guess we can take that out with Ooze going out. 
Yeah, this is good against Guild Summit, of course, but we have Vivian for Guild Summit also. I think I do like Climb, I think. I'll take out a Druid. Wild Growth Walker is probably not going to be that great in general. It was awesome that game, but it's probably not going to always be that good. Oh well. We'll be able to reevaluate here. If we lose this. Where's our blue mana at? Those sleeves look really cool though, like real textured and everything. No blaze. Yoink. All right, so we get to just You can't stop nature. I mean So we're definitely holding up Frilled Mystic here. It's just how much like do I actually want to attack Vivian or not? Probably not. And Frilled Mystic, finishing the game off. Boom. We are 3-0. This deck's fun to play. Just these these uh, Simic decks. Certainly been having fun with them. Her deck is unstoppable. Can't stop the explore package and a bunch of oozes. We haven't even been able to like do cool things with ooze and duplicate yet. It's all the power of Angrath. That's what it is. A little awkward with our, you know, with Hinterland Harbor being our land here. A little awkward. That's not a mulligan. <laughs> you need Dovin's avatar? Yeah, I, I didn't realize they don't sell those as standalones also. You can only get them in the guild packs. We're going Angrath Avatar, Selesnya Sleeves, Blue-Green Deck, Simic Deck. Ow. 
I'm glad we have not... Um, I did not purchase the Simic cosmetic package. No, the only package I purchased was the Selesnia one. That's why we're using our Selesnia sleeves. I am certainly pleased... Uh, with with how there's been no extra performance issues in the games yet. So getting these as two ones that draw cards is actually just what you want against control, even though it's like, oh man, we're flooding out, but it's like that's that's honestly the the good option to have against control are these cards that refill, you know, so J Light drew two, Branch Walker drew one. That's what we want. That's why we have we have the same number of cards in hand as the opponent, plus we have two creatures on the battlefield, plus we have an extra land on the battlefield. So Jade Lights and Branch Walkers being two ones are exactly what you want against control. Yeah, Drada, and we have we have all these new these new cosmetics to to play as well. I am adjusting the stream though because I don't want to stream during the Mythic Invitational, so I'm streaming 7 to 10 p.m., just short streams this weekend, Friday through Sunday. Uh, instead. Hey, what's up, T Marksman? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. I do appreciate that. Let's get our sub battle countdown moving down almost under 100 now. 106. Ah, oh, thanks. Thanks for the kind words. Invitational starts tomorrow. It's like 10 to 6 Eastern time, Thursday through Sunday. Tomorrow, I'm just going to take the day off because that's the first day of the Invitational and everything. And also it is... So they probably don't have another Wrath since they didn't Wrath there. Um, also, it's just opening day for baseball tomorrow for MLB. And so I just kind of want to sit back and watch just tons of games tomorrow. Um, and do that. So, you know, I could have done the 7 to 10 stream tomorrow also, but it's just the three-hour stream. I'm going to take tomorrow off, and then we'll be doing the three-hour streams the other days. And, you know, maybe I'll go a little longer than 10 with it starting at 7. I'm, I'm basically planning on playing, like, two decks a stream instead of my normal four decks. So, you know, I, I may be going longer than 10, but we'll just see. Hey Mike, you're a Tigers fan too? You're the our second Tigers fan here. I'm a Rangers fan myself. Alright, crisis time. Ooh, there's the oozes. I don't really have any preference, Drod, of what what happens there at the Invitational. We did not play Jeskai Wizards yesterday. But we're going to move it to today. Our stream ran pretty late yesterday. A playful mood today. You can spend gems on upgrading your current cards to the borderless, to the 3D art cards.
<laughs> yep. Everybody's definitely happy when the Red Yankees and Red Sox lose. Old Bay, I do not. Yeah, it's, Marksman, you've had two World Series championships. My little Red Shoed Rangers have never won a World Series ever. We got so close in 2011. Got blown out in 2010. We went to two World Series there back to back. I had three. I had season tickets for three years after college, uh, for with the Rangers, and two of those three years were 2010 and 2011. It was 29, 2010, and 2011. So I got to see a lot of playoff games, the World Series games, and all and everything. It was it was awesome, but we did not come out victorious, unfortunately. So we're looking for more Krasis. So we've seen two Kai's Wraths so far. More Krasis or Vivian. There you go, there's a Vivian. I like the Cubs, just in general, and I like how they have Yu Darvish. Yu Darvish is one of my favorite players in baseball. Of course, you know, he came up with, uh, you know, the Ranger signed him from Japan and everything, and huge Yu Darvish fan. So, I'm, you know, he had a, he signed the big contract last year with the Cubs, had an awful year, was just hurt all year. So I'm really hoping he has a real big bounce back year for the Cubs. Oh, that's awesome, Hero. That's a good story. Dodgers have had so much success recently. All right, so Negate, Mystic coming on in. Un unfortunately, Quasi-Duplicate comes on out. And we don't need Wild Growth Walker. And we don't really need Climb either. I guess I could, I'm going to play some Canopies. I'll just play some canopies because they they could be bringing in frilled mist or they could be bringing in Thieva Sandy, you know it's a real popular thing for Esper to be doing. But otherwise, it's still or Lyra Dawnbringer, it still kills uh, Search for Escanta. It's not something that I really want to draw very many of, but I think it's better than Wild Growth Walker for us. Yeah, that's a good point, Mailman. It's you don't have to. You know, whenever your team loses, have a, has a bad game, you don't have to sit there and think about it for a week like football. It's just, hey, tomorrow's an, a new game. My other team's the Twins, because I was born in Iowa, and Minnesota Twins are the closest there. But I've, I've lived a lot of my life in Texas. So that's why I like the Texas Rangers. Those are kind of my two teams. And the Twins are going to be better this year than the Rangers. But it's hard to... I want to watch all the games. It's hard to watch all the Rangers games and twin, Twins games all year. Basically be watching the Rangers the most, probably. I did Blinks. I added that song that you suggested to the playlist. I liked it. Yeah, you... I don't know what they don't have a 3D Angrath. Like how they have some of these 3D cards, there's no 3D Angrath, and it makes me sad. Uh well at least being a Cleveland fan, at least you have the NBA title. But and y'all were so close to winning the World Series a couple of years ago. Kind of the same as the Rangers, you know. Have Cleveland hasn't won since what, sixty one, the Indians? Interesting. They took Crushing Canopy. Definitely means Steve is Andy. That was like the the card that I was least expecting them to take, but I mean, that just means Steve is Andy, though.
see your ghost. So they know about the negate in hand. I don't have the mana to cast Biogenic Ooze and have Negate back up yet. So I did the Incubation Druid while they were tapped out so that it can add triple man triple blue here for negate and dive down. If I if I just wait on the druid, I could, you know, if I just wait till their end step to activate druid, whenever I end step, they could then use like whatever removal spell and I won't have like the mana for negate kind of thing. Or I don't know, it's just safest to just do that right then when they're tapped out. Yeah, these are special 3D cards that you can purchase with gems when you already when you already have the cards. Not all cards. It's not available for our for all cards. There you go. But some cards have it. Go, ooze, go. <laughs> no, I used I used all the gems that I had here on the account already because I have all the cards, so I don't I don't need like the gems that are on my account. I didn't need them for anything except for I guess limited. So used gems on this deck and on Grix's discard. There's not any new re redeem, redeem card code that I know of. They've been putting over like not a bunch of great cards. If that's the second time they've hit and they've had land, land, or elf. Ooh, boy. I mean, Sweeper's definitely coming, right? But we refill our hand. Uh, maybe the whatever wherever that tutorial is, it's not available on like my arena because you know not a new arena player, so there's no tutorial there. But there could be a new rewards for new players that go through a tutorial. I I don't know. Yeah, Bolus has the 3D art. Yep. Yeah. So whenever we play Bolus here next in the Grixis discard, it has the 3D art, and the Planeswalker version does as well. How did like? So y'all are using the, the deck master and everything. If you scroll over Hydroicrasis, does it do the moving stuff for you? Like, does it show like 3D Hydroicrasis for like deck master? How does it how does it work? It does. That's cool. Oh, Tyrant says it doesn't show up at all. Oh, and Felden says it doesn't even show up at all for me. Shows up as normal crisis. Okay, just normal. Okay. Hmm. 
So can our opponent handle these 3D negates? Not a, good enough to keep them alive yet. I'm glad I played the other Jade Light Ranger. And there we go. You can, for the cards, you can just go to your collection. Yeah, you can click whatever card you want, and you can hit a button. I'll show you how to do it. There's multiple ways to find. You can either just go to your collection and click behind i guess it's behind you know my, my mouse is going behind here but there's a there's a thing there's a button that you click and you can see all the cards that you can get and so on and so you can check them all out gutter bones looks cool the black cards in particular look really cool rawr, 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 rawr. That's an easy way to do it. Or you can also just type your card in, and then you right-click it, and you can uh, see if, if it's available or not. Whatever card you want. All right, quasi blues. Oh, that's 4 and O already? 4 and O. It is a little laggy. I've had it on for for a while. I had this on for a while before streaming. So Yeah, we I think we went 5-0 last time with Ooze. I think We either did that or 5-1, one of the two. All right, final boss playlist. Let's go. We're 4-0. Oh. We're already at the final boss early on in the day today. Dun, dun. We have beaten Mono Red twice, Gates once, and Esper Control once. So we're, we're beating the whole spectrum so far in this league. Let's see if we can finish out this league with a fifth win. Oh, whew. Hand looks good for multiple reasons. It's not only good cards, but they also just look good. Stomping ground, huh? Start with Druid. I I want to hit this fourth land here and be able to go Wild Growth Branch, you know, go Walker Walker. That's all I want my next turn to be, is Walker Walker. We'll see. Alright, can we get Walker Walker? Okay. Walker. This does mean that Wild Growth Walker is... It is vulnerable to a Lava Coil for a turn. So, hoping no Lava Coil. Down, 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 down. Alright, I'll take it. That's not a Lava Coil. I'll take it. I could go Ooze. I should probably just play the Jade Light. Got that zero points in with the Incubation Druid. And 
Now next turn we can have Jade Light plus duplicate a Jade Light. Or we can duplicate a Wild Growth Walker and then play Jade Light. That's actually probably better. So basically whatever card we draw here will just it'll be just turned into a quasi duplicate. Do we have Rekindling Phoenix? Yep. Alright, so. See, we'll get this. Hey, MTG Academy. Ah, double Phoenix. Across the sky. Hmm. So we copy Jade Light. Could just play the ooze to go towards copying that next turn. Or could just adapt this incubation druid. So I think the plan I'm leaning towards. And playing the breeding pool because planning on playing the biggest crisis I can next turn. Ooh, you must be mad to right now, it's seven. Kind of hope we draw a land so we can make it an eight-eight crisis. And draw four. <laughs> a little pick me up before. Summer's gonna be a little tough begins. to get through to connect with. All right, so do I want 8-8 Crisis, or do I want to play Ooze and copy Ooze and go wide? Crisis does give us a bunch of cards. Which is true. Mike says ooze copy. Yeah, either choice is nice. Oh, no, no, no. Cancel. Z. Let's go with the Crisis. Because this uses just more mana, and we'll be able to even better, we'll be able to have a better turn with, uh, even next turn, with ooze, copy, and then still like three mana. So yeah, next turn, if we if we play Vivian and kill Phoenix, and if we copy Jade Light and grow these Wild Growth Walkers, do we have Lethal? So they would have like a couple blockers for other Wild Growth. I guess they could have like the O1 uh, token block a Wild small, Growth Walker. But watch out when I flex them. Hmm. 
You have good attacks in general. I don't know if that means I need to attack. I mean, I have okay attacks. Phoenix is certainly annoying. Have at least waited for me to target this. And there we go. Yep, it's final boss time. So definitely want Melody. I don't think I want Climb. And probably Vivian honestly not being so good. That being such an aggressive deck. It's just not a card that we want too many of. I think that's kind of all I want to do. I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I really want to do. Yeah, morphing of the boss for second stage. Yeah, you, you always know whenever you beat that, that boss the first time, the match isn't over. Yeah, I feel like Frilled Mystic could be too slow on the draw. This kind of thing is like, once we stabilize, Frilled Mystic is, is amazing, obviously. It's like a card I'd love to have once you stabilize, but we need to focus on stabilizing. All right. Kashla Club. Let's see what we got here. I don't really like this hand too much, but I don't think it's a mulligan. I like having Incubation Druid to start. We're on the draw. We're going to have plenty of draw steps to draw other spells. Right, deck? We can draw some other spells. There we go. That's another spell. Jade Ranger? I want that card. Why can't I quasi duplicate their Jade Light Ranger? <laughs> Keeping Collision Colossus. Difficult. I just I don't really have any blocks because of Collision Colossus. Yeah, Collision Colossus is amazing. Right. 
Can we draw Explore Creature? Dilt. So we'll see what they have. If they have another Colossus or a Lightning Strike, I'm dead. Alright, they have the Lightning Strike. I guess negate could just be better than dive down. You know, dive down, it, it's nice to have like that only one mana and the toughness boost is also good. Both like collision. Hmm. So I play Frilled Mystic on the play. Instead of what? Instead of Vivian? Instead of a duplicate? I don't like having the one Vivian for the card advantage, but I guess we got Krasis for card advantage. Ooze does a good job of making blockers and everything, though. Real Mystic does have, like, a, a body that can trade with something. You know, after it counters stuff and then can trade with, like, their, you know, those any of those creatures they were just playing. I don't believe any sound was changed in the game, King Toll. Alright, so we got a pretty decent opener here, getting Jade Light already on turn two. This would be a real good time to draw a Frilled Mystic, for example. If I do 4-4 four, four Krasis next turn, it could not only it could die to Lava Coil or Collision Colossus. It won't die to Lightning Strike though. Yeah, there's some cards. Hey, what's up, Macleseth? That's not bad. Melody takes out their Jade Light and their Lightning Strike from hand. 
I'll take that. Yeah, the arena, these cosmetics look really sweet. I like it for sure. And we got there. Five and oh. I don't know what our opponent had over there, but it looked to be a whole bunch of nothing. Nothing to deal with my awesome Hydroid Crisis. Five O. Oh. Ah. How many how many gems do we win? I need more gems. Ah, only forty gems. We need more gems so we can get more cards. Yeah, I think that gold sound was about the same. Hey, little cheeky with the GG. Thanks, little cheeky. So this deck is still being pretty nice to us. You know, we've had a lot of success with this deck over the last week, and it's just been really fun to play. I know a lot of people are tired of the explore package. And we took really good use, or, you know, like, really good advantage of the Explore package in our 5-0 League there. It's kind of what our deck is. It's similar to Soltai, where we're doing Explore package plus Hydroid Crisis. And Vivian, you know, like, we just have those all-stars. Llanowar Elf, Explore package, Vivian, Hydroid Crisis. But our filler is a little different, and I, I like our filler. Uh, quasi duplicate on the explore like it works really well with the explore stuff and wild growth walker we saw that uh, we didn't get to copy ooze too much of this league but we've been doing that a whole lot in, in other leagues copying biogenic ooze we did not really see any uh performance issues with having the all these 3d cards and so that's good good first sign of course the games were going super long but good first sign there is Biogenic Ooze a frog or a snake? Both? It's an oozing frog snake, lizard, wizard, everything. It's an ooze. Took out the guild gate for the second climb. I wouldn't want to take out the guild gate, honestly. We saw like just a lot of those games. I'm looking for lands and looking for a lot, you know, more lands and, you know, just having cards like Krasis, you just want as much mana as possible. I'm not really interested in taking a land out. I like the Guild Gate. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. So there we go. That's Quasi Dupla Ooze. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching some Quasi Dupla Ooze, and I'll see you for the next video.